Hello, fellow graduates of the class of 2012, and thank you for the kind introduction. I also want to thank all the friends and family who could be here to support their respective graduates, as well as the faculty and staff of Randolph College for being here with us today. For those of you who don't know me, although he just introduced me, I'm Derek Guzmar, the class president of your 2012 graduates, and I'm, a, and I'm majoring in studio art. Many of you may have seen sides of your peers you never wish to see again in the senior exhibition at the Mary Museum of Art. But after countless Dell runs, walking the halls of Leggett Third, and the occasional party, who was really all that stunned to see the bare essentials of your peers? <laughs> At an end, the senior exhibition contained great artists with amazing aspirations, some who are sitting beside you today, and one who was shamelessly promoting himself in a speech standing right before you. <laughs> some of you may wonder how this is relevant to your diploma, but it's very simple. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the bare essentials, and there's nothing wrong with taking life by the reins and flying by the seat of your pants. If you're still lost, I'll gladly sum it up for you. Our Randolph College education has taught us to be adventurous, open-minded, and seeking of momentous phases in life that are spurred by vast dreams. It has taught us to be bare, to be naked in the face of adversity, honest, anxious, and unconcealed. To be bare is to be proud, albeit I'm not standing up here imagining each of you in your birthday suit. <laughs> Although if you plan on graduating and you haven't done your Dale run yet, I've been told by President Klein you can't receive your diploma until you have, although he gave them to you already, I don't know. <laughs> You should have pride in your passions and make very aware how Randolph College has shaped you into the person you are today. I am a proud, even-spirited <laughs> graduate of the class of 2012, and I'm about, well, and I've already received my diploma. While I was thinking about what it means to receive a diploma, I tried to put myself in the shoes of every graduate sitting before me, which really wasn't that hard for me, since I know what it's like pulling an all-nighter, well, at Randolph, a double all-nighter, and eating a pizza for breakfast and cereal for dinner. And I thought about what it would mean to finally receive that diploma, that token of appreciation that said, I made it out of college alive. My first thought was, did my education only buy me a shiny piece of paper? Of course, my second thought was, this piece of paper is worth nearly $40,000 a year. <laughs> so I should make sure my new puppy, Bentley, who's up there, doesn't mistake it for my, brother's little home, my, my little brother's homework. But of course, there's more to the diploma than just that piece of paper. It's not totally about being a graduate of Randolph College, as proud as we all are to be those. Instead, there's a lot to the diploma we don't consider until looking past the bare essentials. For it is true that Randolph College has taught its graduates to be bare, but in no way, shape, or form should we allow our diplomas to hold the same exact connotation. To get to the stage today, we've all had to put forth a lot of, a lot of work. It's not a matter of filling the blanks and you receive a diploma. There are many among us who didn't make it this far, and even some of our peers who once sat next to us in the D Hall that are no longer with us. There's a required level of dedication to one's education that is needed to take place before we can receive our diploma and leave behind the red brick walls of Randolph College. That commitment to our education is a powerful thing. It's just a commitment to ourselves and a healthy respect to not only ourselves, but our peers, family, faculty, and administration who pushed us to reach goals looking back we never thought could be possible. None of us here would honestly admit that we always feel like we'd never amount to anything, because otherwise, we wouldn't have pursued our dreams so passionately, and we wouldn't be sitting here today. Some of you may ask, once I have that diploma in my hand, what does it mean for me? Some of us might hang it on the walls of our offices or homes. Others might store it somewhere safe. Personally, I have to put mine just low enough so I'm not the only one who can read it, and just high enough so Bentley can't find a way to jump, it up, jump up and knock it down. We'll certainly list ourselves as college graduates on our resumes, so good luck to all of us on the job hunt and looking for graduate school. But what will it mean to have a bachelor's degree, for some a master's degree, from Randolph College? For me, I know it means that I'm willing to put time and effort into bettering myself. Because by bettering myself, I set an example for which our Randolph College community can rely on my confidence and strength to grow. If as individuals we all do this, our community will come together and flourish. That's where our journey has to start, right? It has to begin with the person you see in the mirror every day you wake up to brush your teeth. Without your beliefs in yourself, you never know how far you can get. Have you ever tried encouraging a friend to go after their dreams and watch as they let self-doubt consume them, ending what could be something truly amazing? We, the class of 2012, can't let ourselves have those same self-doubts. That's what a diploma represents, the fruition of our own self-belief. And so, class of 2012, with a heavy heart and yet full of happiness, 
It's time to take that diploma and use it to be extraordinary people. While we celebrate all we accomplished today, I hope our hard work thus far is only an indication of what we will create for the future world around us. Thank you. I would like to welcome the families, friends, faculty, and staff, and most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2012. We are pleased to have you here in the Dell on this beautiful